Hi, Scott and Todd. This is Mike Flo. Welcome to the Hoboken Arts and Music Festival. As you can see, the place is packed. There are people everywhere. In fact, somebody just rushed up against my butt. It is a beautiful day. We have incredible weather. We've got a little bit of everything here. Bands like Jack Sculler, Fountains of Wayne, Verdict. There's a kids area called the Kids Zone. We have uh, artists with uh, watercolors, oils, acrylics, mixed media. A lot of different uh, craft stands as well. Jewelry, clothing, woodwork, pottery, you name it. It's here. Food. If you come here and you don't eat something, you've made a huge mistake. And in fact, I'm pretty sure that uh, we will partake in some food during the course of the day here. So we're going to walk around and see what's going on here at the festival. Come on, join me, won't you? We're starting out at the best possible location here. We're at the uh, funnel cake stand. I hear that you are the master of funnel cake. What makes your funnel cake so magical? It is the sweet, oh, sweet oh. sugar. It's oh, a funnel yeah. of love. Very former governor of New Jersey. Now slumming it here. Woo! This is like lightning in a bottle. You gotta try this. I used to be calm. It really did look like pee, by the way. I think I drank nitroglycerin. Very lovely jewelry over here. Now, personally, I don't wear any myself, but if I was a lady, may I ask what you chose? Beautiful, very nice. Okay, so she outsources some of the work. Uh, child labor, anything I need to call in? No. All right, I'm just checking. Just making sure this is all on the up and up. Lovely, lovely woman, lovely jewelry. Let's move on. Oh, I'm so sorry, that's my advice. That makes up for earlier when somebody hit my butt, and now I hit his. That's called paying it forward. Oh, kettle corn, let's check it out. Now, did you guys just get some kettle corn? Yes. They did. Have you tried the kettle corn yet? No. What is it? I'm a huge, Beyonce, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of yours. I think you're tremendous. Uh, I have all your CDs. I think you're really fantastic, Beyonce, really. She's tasting it. Look at her face. Look at the look at her. She loves it. You love it, don't you? It's good? Thumbs up. Are you going to share with me? Beyonce. Yeah, please some, look at my Some strange man is standing right here who wants your kettle corn. Have you two met? There you go. <laughs> Come back later, steal back for myself. All right. And what a bonus that was. We got to meet Beyonce. Uh, this is Vinny, and Vinny, your snake. I don't know how to say this without there being a double entendre, by the way. I don't know how to do it. Uh, Vinny, your snake is massive. It's a, it's a python. Okay. All right. I'll be over here. I'm going to touch Vinny's snake. Normally, I would only do it if I was in prison, but whatever. <laughs> it's a festival. Let's have a good time. Is that a Burmese? Uh, nine feet long. Nine, nine feet long. Well, you must be very popular with the ladies. All right. Uh, tremendous. Good for you. What do you feed, honey? She eats guinea pigs and rabbits. Guinea pigs and rabbits. So cute and endearing. Help me. How come she won't kill me? You don't smell like food. <laughs> I, do, oh, I, I don't smell like food. I think, I think Vinny just insulted me. I'm fairly sure. I smell like a tasty treat. Okay. This is good. This is, have you all met Honey? She's very friendly and up my back. <laughs> okay. I feel the scales. The scales are not balanced right now at all in my favor. Let's see if we can get back there. I used to have a guinea pig when I was a child. Now I know what happened to my guinea pig, probably. That's, my mother never really did explain that well. Have you guys been on duty the whole time? It's 11 o'clock. It's all okay, so pretty much since the start of the festival. Uh, everybody has been orderly. We had to take the rubber hoses out. We're gonna hose a few people up. You, you did, you host a few people. Wow, well thanks for keeping everybody safe and secure. Because those two officers were so nice just now uh, and, and offered to hose me down later, I'm gonna get them both uh, a lemonade. Pretty hot day, these boys need a beverage. So these are fresh squeezed? Come on, babe, only the best. Don't worry about me. Oh, 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 get that, get that, she's, she's fresh squeezing them right now. Oh my oh, God. My goodness. Thank you for, uh, for your fresh squeezing. I, I, I'm going to come back and fresh squeeze you guys a little later, you know what I'm saying? Hello! No. Alright, it's a date. Okay. For being so kind to take the time to talk to me. Plus you did offer to hose me down. So I thought you guys deserved a little something. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good? Good. This could be a good time to try to get out of my parking tickets. Thanks for hanging out today. Jump! Let's do Robot Go! here by H and K Sculptures. Uh, their wine bottle holders are fantastic. All over here, you can see. 
The one with the hair? That is definitely my, that's my uncle. Uh, I didn't know he, he modeled for metal sculpture, but all sculptures, handmade from recycled steel and copper, so they're actually, they're environmentally uh, friendly. Are you H or K? Because they make their sculptures with love. I hear crickets. Weathered signs for pretty much anything. You go in New York, which is of course where we are. And how do you how do you get the uh, sort of weathered look that they all have? Well, I put layers, the same, you know, glazes, different sizes, different types. I bet if by this time of day you probably put one glazed yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He's got really something for any interest. I do. Uh, if you've got if you've got crabs, he's got something for you right here, right there. As mentioned, one of the great things about the festival, artists all up and down the street. Some incredible work right here. They're all painted in the computer. It's Larry Carlson's studio. Yeah, Google and you'll have more information than you ever want to know. He's pretty well known for his Google Larry. There we go. So you'll find, you Google him, you find out about his psychedelic, uh, psychedelic animation, you'll find out about his, uh, his great work here, generated in Photoshop, put on canvas, and you'll you'll get his criminal record. Am I right? All right. No, no criminal record. <laughs> oh, sure. We'll find something. How are you, Mike? Nice to see you, sir. Ron. Mike Blum, everybody. This is Polka Dot. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ron Albany. Children adore this man. <laughs> Today was brutal, but it was great. Uh, the Hobo Confess, of course, is the mother of all uh, arts and music festivals. It really is. It has been a long and very fun day. We've seen some fantastic artwork. We've heard live bands. Uh, we got to talk to the famous Polka Dot, hero to children across the land. Uh, I had a, uh, a snake wrapped around my neck and almost died. Gave a couple officers some lemonades, uh, and uh, and I'll be honest, I would keep going, but uh, it's been a long day. We're a little petered out, and I have a date with three ladies at a lemonade stand. So this is Mike Blum. Adios.